Good afternoon guys, I'm uh, well, the whole world is going to crap, so I thought, screw it, I'm going out for camp. <laughs> but it's, um, Poland's starting on lockdown, there's, there's maybe going to be a few more things closing by Monday, Tuesday, maybe I'll be off work, I don't know. Schools, things like that are all closed down, universities, blah, 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 blah. You can't travel out of the country right now. Um, so yeah, we'll wait and see. But I've got two days off work. Today, tomorrow. I'm only going to do a one night camp because I'm back in work quite early on Monday. So I don't want to be rushing. So got a different little setup for me. I'm going to the same place because it's got some nice flat ground. I'm going to be ground dwelling. Looks like it could be good. Weather's awesome. There should be no rain. It's quite warm right now. But it is going to be cold at night. Quite deep into the minuses. Somewhere around the minus 8, minus 10. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how we get on. I'll bring you guys back when we get there. This is actually the first time I've been up this place. There's like three people in front of me. Most people, I've never had this many people around here. <coughs> so yeah, we'll see how it goes on. I don't get this. I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Do you see that? This uh, walking with a like we're on a little flat bit. This is not hard. This is not difficult. This is not anything. But it's got the the trekking poles. I even see them doing this around town. Just downtown or through the park, like the parks, like centre of town parks. I don't understand it. But anyway, yeah, I'll bring you guys back as I get there and as we uh, get set up. Show you my setup and show you what's going on. I've got a little bit more food today. No ration packs, nothing today. This is actual food. Pretty simple, but actual food. So I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. So guys, we're on the last wee bit to camp. See it there, you see my fire reflector. So uh, yeah, we're coming in here. I'm gonna set stuff up. Uh, and uh this is like where I left it, no one's no one's been here. So yeah, we saw a few people on the way up, but they're just walking the tracks or running or, yeah, you know, just out for a nature walk, which I don't blame them. I mean, Poland's got little millions of forests, it's a beautiful country, so I don't blame them. The weather is, phew, wow. I mean, the weather, you, you can ask for better. No wind, phew, absolutely no wind. Uh, in the sun, it must be 10 or 12 degrees, I don't know. There's my really fire pit there. Uh, tonight's going to get cold, but it should be no rain, no, you know, nothing like that. So it should be more than easy to to camp, or I think it should be a lovely little night. We've got loads of wood here. Half of it I didn't even touch last time I was here. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> So guys, not the uh, the absolute best of showers. Like this, uh, this could do with being a bit longer. Uh, but I 
I think I'll survive. Go up for a minute now. Put that there. Head can go up there. Keep them out. Yeah, I should have an upper room there. Um, and what the plan is tonight, because it is going to be cold, it is going to be minus ooh, 8, 9, 10, somewhere around there. Um, I've got my double military sleeping bag because I'm on the ground, so it doesn't really matter if it's so slidey, it's not so good in a hammock, but here is okay. Uh, not really going to be rain, so this is not really for shelter. That. There's no rain or wind, this is probably more to catch the heat from the fire long fire here which will keep it'll maybe circulate the heat a little bit um yeah we'll try this out so it's my first ever setup like this like half a paul wide car I'm not allowed to... we'll see what happens Back a wee bit. There we go, guys. So we've got the camp set up. Still got the fire. It's actually a little bit squint, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can see the tripod there is not perfect, but do you know what? It's my first attempt. Took five minutes. I'm happy with it. I've got more than enough room in there. See, I've got my two bags. Oh. So, oh. yeah, I'm going to be sleeping here tonight, more than comfortable. And this is going to be good. I'm going to fire right here. Hopefully, giving me one full night, depending on how much wood I collect. And I'm just going to be able to sit out and stare up at the sky. So as you know, I'm not usually a, a massive fan of ground dwelling, but I'm quite, I am quite excited about this one. So yeah, it's going to be a good one, going to be a good one. Oh, so we're on food time. I've got some bread rolls, bulky. Some butter, maswa, and this really nice mustard with the mustard. <laughs> that's that's easy. So it, it's really really easy anyway. Um, I'll bring you around. I've got the fire going there, and. In my pot there, I have a kielbasa bewe, which is white sausage. You just boil it, um, and it's probably my favourite. So that, with the mustard, maybe in, in a roll, I'm going to have that. Uh, it's nothing especially special, but it is tasty. So it's one of my very, very favourite things. So uh, I will bring you back once it is prepared, so you can see a little bit what it's like. Um, yeah, I'm really, really hungry. Can't wait for that. And then I'm going to chill back in my shelter here, eat my food. And uh, yeah, be happy. Just sitting here thinking, because it's so, so quiet. A breath of wind in the air. It's dry. It's nice. Uh, yeah, we just—I don't know. We're just sitting here thinking. This is this is kind of why we do it. This is why we go out. I mean, could it be any more perfect than this? Some lovely wood on, and and that wood was. <sighs> Don't think that that was hard to collect. That was within two minutes of this place. Even if you walk out another cup, another little bit further, so much wood. It's ridiculous. I've got this. I've got food on. Processed up a lot of that wood, so I've d deliberately left it a bit long because I want to look a bit of a long fire tonight. 
but there's still bigger bits as well. And if I really need to, maybe maybe after I eat this food, give me some air. Because I've not actually eaten today. I never eat breakfast. So I've not eaten uh, anything at all today. Um, so I'll have that. And as you see, that's my shelter. Right there, right next to it. And it's very nice here, very flat ground. So um, I think it'll be nice and comfortable. Just to sit here and just chillax. So there we go guys, I, I've cooked my dinner. Uh, pardon me. So we've got what we've got here is some nice big sausages. Yep. Got four of them in there. Uh, uh, Wanna sit here? I hope these bread rolls aren't too tough. <coughs> right now, uh, clip is a uh, clip, red. Uh, it was quite hard to find today. Red, toilet roll. Bread and toilet roll seem to be the emergency items. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't necessarily need butter, but actually here, oh, quite, oh that's quite solid. But um, butter's not so expensive as it is in uh, in Britain. Oh, we need some mustard. They do some real nice mustards over here. Sausage is way too big for the roll. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep. That is awesome. Um, I mean not daylight but it's still light you know those nights the, the sun was meant to go down at 6 it's like 7 now and it's not dark hmm I'm just sitting here as well. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just sitting here as well. If, uh, if I keep this fire going all night, there's no chance I'm going to feel cold. No, not even a chance. It's already the heat in here. I don't have a thermometer or anything like that, but already the heat in here is phenomenal. Oh. Mm. That really is amazing.
Mm. Yeah. I turned the camera off. Uh, there was many guys watching me eat. And uh, I'm going to sit here and enjoy myself for a little bit. This camp, I've got you guys out here, but this is kind of a camp for me. You know, just to, just to enjoy. I see a big bit of wood fell out of fire there, so we'll, uh, we'll rectify that. Anywho. Oh. Okay. We'll whack you there. Stay. Hello, guys. We've still got another couple of big bits of wood there, but I've uh, processed a nice big lump there next to here so hopefully I can just chuck that on while I'm while I'm sleeping really I don't think you can see there's my breath in there it's got a lot colder now but uh yeah looking very very cozy I've got my little light there I just wish I could have had my um my lantern I need to find somewhere to get paraffin from though. For it. But yeah. Yeah, I'm sat sitting outside of camp. I've only got like a just a regular t-shirt and a, a hoodie on and I, I feel cold. So Oh we'll come back into camp. And uh Yeah, I'm just gonna chill it over here. I don't even need to be in my bag right now. From the fire and everything, it's uh, it's more than one. I think as well, I, I took food for later on, but I'm already full. I don't think I can. I don't think I can manage another whole meal. I'll take that home tomorrow, or maybe I don't know. Maybe stay out. We'll see. The weather's going to stay nice. think you see the size of the log that's on there that's that's about six inch across but it is birch it's a standard birch from just across I don't know, 10 meters away or something like that and I just sawn it off two bits of it it looks like it's giving off loads of light and burning 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 I think it's a little bit damp in the middle so I don't know if that is the bark that's given that thing off because what happens, what what tends to happen with birch is because of the, the resins, the oils, whatever that is in the bark, even when they're lying on the ground, it looks like it's fine, but it, it, it seems to hold in water. It seems to rot from the inside out. Excuse me. Not a lot of our trees do that. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you back because... Honestly, that that heat different. I don't know if that reflector makes any difference. That's more just a little. I don't know it's quite nice, but um, yeah, I mean the heat difference just from the immediate area, just outside this camp, away from that fire, is phenomenal. Really cold. I think it must be like it's only just going into the minuses now. It's going to get uh, as I said before minus eight, minus ten when I'm sleeping, so I am going to make sure I've got plenty of wood. I don't know if you can see that on there as well, the with the fire. I think that must be the resins burning the birch bark. You see the purple in the fire. I think you can see it on there. Yeah. But tonight is like end of winter, start of spring. This is like the It's like the perfect night. You can see the stars through the trees. It's dry. There's not a breath of wind. Uh, I've got some good food with me this time. Honestly, couldn't ask for more. It's 
So while while uh, while the world's all going to crap with the the beer virus, um, yeah, I think this is probably the best place to be. To be fair, so I'm going to enjoy tonight. There you go guys, what you can see there is the rice boiling. So, I've just got some rice and I've got uh, some uh, chap, pork, uh, pork fillet, I suppose. I'm going to finger that up and... I've just got some uh, sauce chinski, which is Chinese sauce, which is sweet and sour. So we're going to have sweet and sour pork. Uh, and that's about it. Fire's burning away. We've still got loads of wood. We've still got loads of wood just feet from me. But uh, I'm quite comfortable in here. But as I said before, as soon as I move out of this place, away from the fire, oh my goodness, it is, I mean, it's cold. It's real cold. Now it's about, oh, what time? Now it's about half nine, ten o'clock at night. And, uh, yeah, you can feel the cold. A lot. Oh. Oh. Even even when I stand up, the head height when I'm going bald, but you can really feel the cold up here. Oh, it's proper cold. That is nice. I mean, I've got such a lovely little set up here. I'm maybe going to move you here for I don't know a better angle. Just adjusting the tripod right now. To add it on the bottom there. I know we're out in the wild and I appreciate the wild as much as anyone, but I just I was just watching you don't mess with the Zohan there. <laughs> That's maybe a big cop out, but I don't care, it's a great film. So yeah, we're gonna put this on for a little while, we're gonna see uh Slash, slash cooking gloves on. The reason I like them is one, they're not too expensive. They are leather or new buck or whatever. They're not the same. I mean, these are well used. They're not the same as um, what do you want to call it? Like welders gloves. They're not going to take that heat. You can do some fire manipulation with it, but they're going to help you a lot with cooking. Just, just picking up. Uh, Picking up hot tins, hot whatever. See, the fire's not burning, it's not like raging, which I'm quite happy about. It sends out a good solid heat. Uh, I've got a little bit over there which is quite nice for cooking on because it just balances the. just balances my cooking tins a lot. So I would say that's got another. I don't know. A couple of minutes. Uh, then what do we do? Don't really have a chopping board. I maybe I should have sawed something off before. Don't really have any for for uh, chopping on to. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll let that boil. I'll probably just chop it up by hand, I mean like hold the meat in my hand and thing it and uh, we'll chop that in, we'll add the rice, we'll add the sauce and I'll uh, I'll bring you back as that's ready 
I suppose. So, I know you can't see nothing, guys, but let's see if you can pick up the sound. You hear that? The barking. You know, they're moving away from me. That's deer. Yeah, hopefully you can hear that. That's one of the sounds that freaks people out in the wild most. Because they see Bambi. Yeah, you hear that? You hear Bambi. Oh. You hear Bambi and they think it's going to be, uh, I don't know what they think it's going to sound like, but... They've got an awful crack. How, how beautiful the creature is. Hope you can hear that. It's actually as loud as day is. Wow, 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 wow. There's the down over uh, facing the opposite way from you. Back through the trees, and then we've got some brush and some flat land and some farmland. So they're out in the open. And they're calling. Right now I think they're calling to communicate a lot. Because... Deer don't have the, the, the best sight. They can hear pretty well. Because they rely on their noses. And tonight when there is literally, there is just... There's no wind. Like, at all. And I think they're calling that much to communicate with each other because they feel a little bit lost when there's no wind. When I say there's no wind, there's not even like a, I don't know, like a, a five kilometres or two kilometres an hour wind just to pull scent. There's just nothing. Really hope you can hear that. They must be, I don't know, 100, 150 meters away, maybe? Something like that. There was a lot, it's not that far away. Really. If I was a hunter and I had a gun and I went down that way, I could probably surprise them. But I'm not, and I don't, so Chinese sweet and sour pork it's going to be. <laughs> so guys, this is the view from my shelter right now. I've had, uh, I've had a chillax, I've had, um, well, I've had my shelter built, I've had a chillax, got the fire going. Absolutely lovely now. Still got, still got a lot of wood there as well. Uh, the temperature has dropped a lot. So the temperature has dropped a lot. Wait there, maybe. Let's see if this light helps. If I can find it. So yeah, temperatures dropped loads. Um, anywhere outside the camp is freezing now, like really cold. So, I can feel heat from the fire. I could have done actually, when I'm thinking of it, to, you know, keep the fire a little bit lower, more coals. 
I think next time I do this one because it's it's canvas, it can it can take a little bit, it can be closer. I could do with being if I just hold my hand out just in front of me at arm's length, I can really feel the heat from the fire. So I think next time I'll make it just just that little bit closer. About a foot and a half, two foot. And that would make a big difference. But I've got a, I've got my double sleeping bag and everything, so I'm not. It's not like I'm going to freeze tonight. There is still heat coming from that fire. I can feel it. But when it dies down, it's not, not quite as much as I would like. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, now all that's left to do is for me to chillax. I can just lie here and watch the stars. There's so many stars just up through the trees here. Uh, and fall asleep, I suppose. And I'll, uh, you know, if anything magic or tragic happens, I'll bring you back. But failing that, I'll see you all in the morning. Dobra nuts. Good morning everyone. I'll be awake for a bit. <sighs> 10-15 minutes. A beautiful morning. I had a decent sleep last night. Not cold or anything. But it was cold but I wasn't. Uh, as you can see I've still got fire going. It's been going on all night, just chucking bits on from my wood pile every now and again. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll use that for a coffee later. As you can see, beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky, I don't think you can actually pick up the blue. It's blue sky, no clouds. Last night was clear. Yeah, it's a really good camp. Well, I'm up, folks, and oh, it is cold. <coughs> I don't know if you can see it, that's some um, water I poured about. See the ice in it already? Oh, God, that's cold. Nice enough, but some water I poured about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> It's already frozen. Um, don't know if you can see it there in the distance. That's the sun just peeking through the woods. So it's still quite early in the morning. I think when the sun comes up, the temperature's going to rise quite a wee bit today. Like it was yesterday, it'll be it'll be warmer. But uh, I've got the fire properly going now. Because I need some warmth and I need some coffee. I'm in no rush because I'm off work today so I won't be staying out tonight because I'm at work the next day very early but um, yeah I'm in no rush today take my time have some coffee and uh, pack away that's about the plan thus far so everyone I'll try and keep it as steady as possible. That's us on our way back. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Leaving the woods. Don't know if you can see it on the ground, but uh, maybe see a bit of frost here and there. But it's because uh, it's really dry. You don't see much frost, but the, the ground's frozen solid. And like I said, on the way back. So, uh, yeah, that was a really good little camp. Enjoyed that a lot. Uh, back still a wee bit knackered from ground dwelling, but uh, it is what it is. I had a good night's sleep. Really warm with that fire as well. Um, so, hopefully you've uh, you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, thanks for everyone for 
subscribing and sharing and stuff so uh, if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing and uh, maybe share and uh, again hit the notification bell if you if you sort of want notified when I do upload because it's it's not on a strict schedule and uh, yeah I'll see you all in the next one ta-ra